Yeah, great meal, great meal. Nope, not a problem. Uh, you can just put it on my tab. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we have a tab. Uh, you see, I play for the Riders. Yeah. Darren Durant. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Number four. I'm the starting quarterback. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm Darren Durant for sure. Yeah. You just put it on my tab. You don't believe me? You don't. Uh, why would I be wearing a, a Saskatchewan Rough Rider shirt? Okay, so clearly I'm I'm Darren Durant of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Just uh, charge it to the team, and uh, that'll be fine. Did you see the game? Did you not see the game? The last game, the Canada Day comeback. It was a pretty big deal. Uh huh. Yeah, that was me. That was all me, Darren Durant. I'm Darren Durant. How do I not look okay? Look, calm down. That's it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm on the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. I'm a football player. So clearly. I'm Darren Durant. Don't accuse me. I don't have to deal with this. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Fine. Fine. Come on. Goodbye. My name is David, and I am a Ryder fan. Alright, here's what's bothering me right now, and it's not the fact that we don't have Marcus Thigpen anymore. Some people in the community have been impersonating Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Now what that means is they're going into restaurants, or they're going into establishments and saying that they play for the Riders, or that they are somebody on the Riders, expecting to get freebies and uh, discounts and, and stuff like that. I, I have two problems with this. Okay, number one. Who does this? You didn't train your whole life to become a professional football player. That's not you. You can't pretend to be uh, Darren Durant or, or whoever. So, so you walk into these places and, and you just be a total jerk and you get away with it because you say you're with the Riders? Like, like, that's wrong. You're making us look bad, okay? The other thing is, like, Riders don't act like that. You see real Saskatchewan Rough Riders in the community and they're nice people. Take a second and, and pause for a photo or, or get an autograph or, or something like that. You know what I mean? The second problem I have with this is the people who believe them. Oh yeah, you're you're daring. I don't know what's stupider: the guy who thinks he can impersonate a guy on the Riders, or the guy who's believing. Him. Look, if you're if you're a fan of the team, if you're a big enough fan of the team that you're going to give them discounts, you should know who's on the team. That's all I'm saying. And now you're thinking about my other comment, David. Not having Marcus Thigpen is a big deal. He has three kick return touchdowns this year in the first two games. And he's probably the leading candidate for Rookie of the Year and Special Teams Player of the Year. I know it's just week two, but still, he's been doing very well. To that I say, yes, Ryder Nation. But you can't have everything. Like Ken Miller said, you can only keep so many guys. So here's the deal. We keep him. Then what? So we cut Dorsey, Hugh Charles, Wes Cates? Look, even if we kept them all. First game, we didn't even dress Hugh Charles. The only reason I can think of why keeping him would be good is so that other teams can't have him. Like when you play Madden and you take all the best guys, even if you don't like them, and you just bench them, well, now the other team doesn't have them, so it's good, right? Sure, I guess. But then he wouldn't get to play, and we wouldn't be able to see what he can do, which is amazing. You may say, Hamilton got him for nothing, which is true. But let's not forget, in the offseason, we practically stole Preche Rodriguez. Who did we give up? Adam Nicholson. Do you know who that is? I think you got to catch... I don't think we have to worry about it. The thing I want to worry about is when we play Hamilton, then we got to watch out. Because you know what? Marcus Thigpen hasn't hurt us yet. In other news, the Toronto Argonauts actually won a game. And lastly, if you were able to watch this week's game, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders versus the British Columbia Lions at Empire Field, the first place where the Saskatchewan Rough Riders won the Grey Cup in 1966. Beautiful view, mountains in the background. It was a pretty good game. The first half was kind of boring. The second half was just like, boom, here we go. Ken Miller said earlier this week that his goal was to get 60 points in one game. A point every minute. And you know what? We were doing alright until... We kind of got shut down, we kind of lost and lost a step, but we caught up not bad. We were 23 points away, but with the offense we have and the Rough Rider Canadian Air Force, I think we're going to be fine, and I think we could see some high-scoring games. We're never really out of a game, as long as the offense can get the ball. What people were worried about was the defense. They've been great. Hawkins, you see this guy? Chase down Casey Printers, Indrum, remind you of anybody? Injuring quarterbacks? Yeah, I can think of two guys from last year who kind of fit the bill. Then that other play, chases him down, got the ball loose, picked it up, runs all the way, gets a touchdown. Keith Shulligan there pats him on the shoulder like, hey, I know the feeling, it's pretty good. Remember that touchdown Keith Shulligan had? Pass in the end zone, Taylor Field. Good times. It was close, closer than it needed to be at the start, but in the end, uh, got the job done. A good week of football coming up is the 
retro game. Riders are going to wear their black and red jerseys. Some people like them, some people don't. I'll vlog about that later, and I want to know your opinions. But for today, Rider Nation, please let me know this Rider impersonation thing. What's weirder? The fact that he thinks he can get away with this, and the fact that he's doing it? Or the fact that the people at the stores don't even know who the Riders are? Isn't that a little weird to you? Don't you think that's kind of weird? So, uh, let me know about that. Also, let me know, what do you think about Marcus Thigpen? What would you have done? Would you have cut Cates, Charles, Dorsey? Would you have kept them all? What would you do about Marcus Thigpen? That's what I want to know. So please, leave a comment in the section below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. Find me on Facebook. Do all that fun stuff. If you want, send me an email, piffles1910 at gmail.com. Send me your fan photos. Send me your pictures of the stadium, pictures of players, whatever you want. I'll use it in my end clip. Because I always like to put a photo at the end. So send me those. And yeah, should be good times coming up for Riderville. Let's see if we can go 3-0. and Until then, Rider Nation, have a good one. On a side note, I just want to say thanks to Bert and all the people at RiderPrider.com for letting me join the team. I'm pretty excited that my vlogs will be featured on the website as one of the columns. So there's uh, many... So different uh, articles, commentary, uh, things going on in Riderville, Rider Nation. You can keep up to date with all that kind of stuff. Make sure you check out the Green Machine for the Rider Player of the Week. Uh, that's pretty cool too. So it's uh, it's a good site if you're watching me on there now. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And uh, if you're not, go check out that website. Links and everything you need, good stuff in the description underneath this video on YouTube. So check it out. Have a good one.